Okay, this is a little bit tricky. I don't have anybody helping me to videotape this, so I'm by myself. Anyway, I've been intrigued by um, them wa watching them put up these power poles in my neighborhood and um, thought I'd do a video about it. I'm going to turn around and show it to you now. Okay, so I've been watching them uh, build these high tension um, towers and I think it's kind of interesting, so I'm going to do a little video of them. The, uh, in this particular one that we're looking at here, they're taking the tower down. That's an old tower, and there's another shorter one there. And they're putting up these new, uh, new taller towers. And so I'm going to show a few of the, show you a few of the operations and discuss a few of my concerns. I mean, you know, I'm okay with these power lines going in. They have to be there, but um, anyway. I'll talk more about that in a minute. So you can see this pole's been here a little bit longer. Um, it actually has the wires uh, hanging there. This tower next to it, you can see, you can see, like it looked like pulleys, and that's what the uh, helicopter. The line is hanging down, and he drapes it over that thing. You can do it without, you know, from the helicopter. And they draw a rope first and then they start pulling the wires. Busy street. Actually uh, close the lane uh, both ways. They're, dra they're going to drag some wires across the lane and they, they want to make sure nobody is running through there in case they drop the wires. Okay, here's another shot. And uh, if you look over there, you can see actually see the roof, some roofs of some houses that um, is right below them, pretty much. And then uh, another direction, you can see them out there. Um, the equipment taking, taking some towers down and putting up some new ones. So I thought this would be interesting to show how they are using this helicopter to string power lines. They put up a bunch of new poles. They've been working on this for a number of months. Here's uh, some new poles. They got to get those wires up there somehow. So they use this helicopter. If you look close you can see there's the line. And in this particular case I think they're taking off some old lines and then they're going to string new lines concrete pillars they've been putting up these new towers and then once again here's the uh, if I can find it there's the helicopter again and he's uh, dragging the wire okay you can see to hear the the way the helicopter is leaning it's because the, he's pulling on this wire here and uh, there's a lot of, lot of tension and he's uh, right above this power pole he's going to attach the wire to that and drag it over there some more power poles over there so that's how they do it Okay, here's another look at these power lines. They're kind of going crazy with uh, installing these things here. And I'm going to go over the other direction. And uh, you can see them going off in there. And look how close these houses are, some of them, to the wires. I mean, uh, I don't think that seems right. But anyway. So, these houses, a couple of these houses can't be more than, I don't know, 50 feet from some of these wires. That's pretty dang close. And I don't know who, who's allowing that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I've been looking at um, 
Well, power poles going up in my neighborhood, and it, I, I got kind of interested in it, so I started watching them put these things together. And then I did some research because I was concerned about how, how close you can build houses to these things. And uh, so I picked up a meter. I got it from Amazon. They have several different meters there. And um, I was wondering, first of all, I looked up what is the safe distance that uh, you can stay away from the EMF, radi re EMF radiation from power supplies. That's the uh, electromagnetic field. And there are a lot of different numbers. Some, th some pages that I found on the internet said that you should not live within 600 feet of uh, these power lines. Others say 150 meters. Uh, there's another one that says 1200 meters. So it, it's just it's really unclear just, to, just how far away you're supposed to be. So they recommend getting a meter and um, to check for EMF, electromagnetic field. And as it turns out, my house is 2,700 feet away and I don't, when I turn it on, I, I get a zero reading. But as I drive down closer to them and get up underneath them, big reading. It's, you know, is that right? Um, and then they also said check different places in your house. And I, I didn't find any readings anywhere in my house. We have solar panels, and I checked that, and I checked the box where the, over there by the, the breakers, nothing there. The only place that was any, any problem at all is uh, uh, the microwave oven when it's running need to be like three feet away anyway, or more. Because when I was uh, you know, like four feet away, I didn't, wasn't getting hardly any reading at all. As I got closer to three feet, then it was starting getting, and right up next to it was really bad. Now, there was another thing that uh, my cousin has an older house with solar. Her solar's, I don't know, 15, 20 years old. And she asked me if I would check hers. Now, I guess they've changed it because my solar panel, where, where, where all the panels come together in this box, I don't know what it's called, some kind of transformer or whatever, right next to the uh, uh, breaker box, I'm not getting any reading. But on hers, it was really high. And she asked me to check her bedroom. Um, this box is hanging on the outside wall of her bedroom. I went inside and checked her, checked her bedroom but, uh, inside where her bed was, and it was high readings, pretty bad. So she's moving her bed to a different wall. Once I got about two feet away from the wall, then it, it was okay. So anyway, I don't know. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about this, but I think it's curious, and um, you can do the research yourself. And I, I don't know who allows these, I, the, I got no problem with the power poles, they have to be there somewhere. Who allows these houses to be built so close to these things? Does the city or the county or the state allow um, building permits? I don't know the answers to this, it, but, but it, personally, um, I, I think it's something that needs to be checked into. All right, so um, hopefully that was helpful for you. Have a good day.